Hello YouTube, this is Extreme Gamer Pro 101. And today I'm going to show you how to make a secret entrance. And this is not my first video that um uses I've enders for the secret entrance because I know I just did a video today about um using this, just putting them into the um end portal thing we did. And it will trigger something. And at the bottom of the end portal, it looks like sandstone basically, except the texture is a little bit better. But, anyways, that's not what I'm talking about. This you can actually do in survival mode. And I guess I know in my video I said you couldn't do that in survival mode, but I guess you could if you wanted to go right up to an end portal but that is just inconvenient. So anyways, what you'll need to do is just throw your eye fender. See where it went. Okay. And since it's going that way and there's a lot of buildings that way, I'm going to go right here and also I'll mark your spot with something and I'm marking my spot with endstone. So see where the item drops, and for me it dropped right there, so I am going to put pressure plates all around that area, and I think I'm going to also put a pressure plate right there because it landed there, so then after that, let's uh, put this into the wiring because it's not going to do anything without the wiring. Oops. Okay, so when we connect this, we can see works. So now, anyways, if you want to connect that up to a piston or whatever, or, or maybe you could even connect it up to, um, connect it up to a command block in a, um, what's it called, a custom map, sorry for the break part there. But everybody parts with their brain eventually. But anyways, a custom map. If you're making a custom map and you want a trading system, uh, you'll need to kill an Enderman, and you'll get the Eye Ender. You'll need to kill a Blaze, which you'll get the Blaze Rod, which makes uh, that fire stuff, whatever it's called, Blaze Powder. And then also. You'll need a crafting be bench, and when you craft that, you will get the Eye of Ender, and maybe each time this happens, you could give the person, like, three diamonds or whatever, if it was some skyblockish thing. So now, anyways, for the secret part. Now, if I am standing in an enclosed room, and let me make this right now. This will still work. Okay, look at this. And you see how they go right through the wall? And they fall all over the place. And you see how they landed in different places? You might want to put a pressure plate right there pressure plate right there because they can land in different places so that pretty much sums it up for my tutorial um thank you for watching and have a nice day peace